Alright guys, uh, I'm doing another late night video, unfortunately, because I haven't had time to record this week, once again. Uh, I hope the wind isn't too bad, uh, it's, it's kind of windy tonight. It's been very cold this week, and I've been working really late this week, so I haven't really had time to do anything. Uh, real quick guys, uh, I want to announce the winner of last week's giveaway. Uh, last, week's, last week we did a dumpster dive video, and we were giving away a copy of Modern Warfare 2. That we happen to find in the dumpster. The game plays really well, and I'm very happy to announce the winner is Death Metal Guacamole. <laughs> I don't think you guys realize how many times it took me to say that. Uh, just once, because it wasn't that funny. Anyway, um, so today, guys, uh, we are working on the uh, aviator again, and unfortunately, this car is being totaled. And real quick, I'm going to tell you why. Okay, guys, so. Uh, as you can see, this is completely disassembled. Uh, the the hub's out. E everything's out of this thing right now. Because we were on our way to Gatlinburg. Okay, we were going on vacation for New Year's, and we were on our way to Gatlinburg. And the wheel fell off. Alright, we were going on the road, and suddenly we felt the car fall off from under us, and the freaking wheel fell off. And uh, it's not like the lug nuts fell off. No, they sheared off. They broke off. Because someone over-tightened the lug nuts. Now, if you guys do not know how much to tighten your lug nuts because you're afraid of this problem, Look up the specs on lug nuts. It's usually around like a hundred foot pounds, maybe max. But there's no need to torque them down so tight that whenever you're driving down the road, they can shear off and your wheel go flying off down the freaking road, which is what happened to us. Uh, we had someone work on it, and they unfortunately did a very bad job. But uh, real quick, I'm gonna bring out the hub and I'm gonna show you guys just what happened. Okay, so uh, as you guys can clearly see here. Uh, the lug studs are broken off, and uh, you can see they're knocked back. That's because we were trying to knock them out and replace them with new studs, which we bought. We bought five new lug studs, and we were trying to replace them. So we were not able to fix it, uh, obviously. Um, but uh, we did the best we could, and we took all this apart, hopefully hoping to get it apart. But uh, now it's time to put it back together. So uh, I'm gonna go get all the bolts, guys, and we're gonna be putting this thing back together because unfortunately this car is being totaled. Uh, we called our insurance company, and as you can see. I will show you guys the damage. There's a lot of damage here. It bent this whole quarter panel whenever the uh, wheel came off. I mean, as you can see here, yeah, all that happened. Okay, because what I think happened, my, my theory, is that whenever the wheel first broke, these three studs right here that aren't completely broken off broke. Okay, and so the wheel was currently riding on these two. So it's doing this weird pattern, right, where it's going up, hitting this, and then coming back down and then going up and hitting this again until it fell off. So after those two hits, I mean, it did some damage. And this is what you're seeing now is the damage that it caused. So, uh, yeah. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting back together what's here so that they can haul it off and scrap it or whatever. And uh, we're going to be doing a couple other things that we could, that we want to take out um, just because it's brand new. And we have a couple other things we can put back in it. So, yeah, guys, that's what we're going to be doing now. Set my camera off on the tripod and start a time lapse. Okay guys, so uh, quick update, I got my dad out here because uh, he's the one that took it apart and to be honest, I have a hard time remembering how to put something together that I did not take apart. So uh, I called him out here, I got very lucky that he's the one that took it apart and not some random stranger that I had to like just figure out what they did. So now I know what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to put it all back together.
Okay, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching. And uh, this car is being totaled, like I said earlier. Uh, and the thing is being totaled. And it, it is a little unfortunate for us because our other truck is wrecked right now. I mean, the, it still runs. It's just a deer ran out in front of us. And the front end of it's messed up. And we already need to put it in the body shop. And so, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. But this thing, we called the insurance company and they said they're going to total it. Because of all the body damages that I showed you, this is going to cost too much to fix it. Um, so we are going to be looking at buying a new car. Uh, and there will probably be a couple of maintenance things that we're going to have to do on it. But um, for now, guys, the thing is put back together. Like I said, the whole reason why we had to put this back together is because we were working on it on the side of the road trying to get to Gatlinburg. Because that was the original intent, which we never actually made it. <laughs> Ended up, I, I, don't just think, I just don't think it was meant to be. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I want to thank you very much for watching, and uh, if I ever do another giveaway, be sure to, you know, enter in it so that you can win next time, and uh, I love you guys, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time, bye-bye.